Hello, I'm Dr. Peter Bayich, Director of the Center for Men's Health at Cleveland Clinic. Erectile dysfunction, or ED, is a common condition that affects many men at some point in their life. Your healthcare provider will work with you to identify what is causing your symptoms and the best treatment to address them. The most common treatments for ED include pills, injections, a vacuum device, and the penile implant procedure. Penile injections are one of several options. If other treatments fail, or for men who are unable to take ED oral medication. Injectable medication is generally not covered by insurance and is specially formulated by a compounding pharmacy for maximum efficacy. It is commonly referred to as Trimix or Bimix. This video will show you the technique for safe use of penile injections. First, you'll assemble the medication and supplies on a clean surface. The medication comes in a glass vial and should be stored in the refrigerator. Lay out the syringe, two alcohol wipes, the medication vial, and a sharps container to dispose of syringes after use. Wash your hands well with soap and water. Remove the seal from the medication vial. Open an alcohol pad and clean the rubber stopper on top of the vial. Don't use the vial if the fluid inside is cloudy, has particles floating in it, or if the rubber stopper comes off the vial. Remove the cap from the syringe without letting the needle touch anything. If anything does touch it, put it in your sharps container and use a new one. Pull back the plunger on the empty syringe to the dose that was instructed by your provider. This will draw air into the syringe. Now inject this drawn up air through the rubber stopper into the vial. Turn the vial upside down with the needle still inserted and pull back the plunger to the dose that was prescribed. Keep the tip of the needle under the fluid level in the vial to draw up the medication. If you see air bubbles in the syringe, you can draw up extra medication, allowing the air bubbles to float to the top of the syringe and then slowly push out the air. Look at the numbers on the side of the syringe and be sure that you have the correct dose in the syringe and that you see minimal or no air bubbles. Your urology provider will instruct you which dose to use. Remove the needle from the rubber stopper and loosely replace the cap to keep it clean. Set the syringe down on a clean surface. Penile injections are most successful when delivered while standing, if you are able to stand. The injection should be given at a 90 degree angle in the middle third of the penis, not the head of the penis. The injection site should be at either the 10 o'clock position on the left side or the 2 o'clock position on the right side of the penis shaft. Each time you give yourself an injection, Alternate from left side to right side. Do not inject straight down on the top side of the shaft where the nerves are or directly at the bottom of the shaft where the urethra is. Avoid injecting right into a large vein because you may cause a bruise or bleeding. Locate the correct area of the penis for the injection and clean it with an alcohol wipe. Let it dry before injecting. Pick up the syringe and take the cap off. Make sure the medication dose is right. If you pushed out any medication, draw up more from the vial, using the same steps as before. Hold the syringe between your thumb, index, and middle fingers, like you would hold a pencil. Have the needle pointing down. If you aren't circumcised, pull your foreskin back before grasping the head of your penis. Stretch out your penis by grasping the head straight out in front of you or to the side opposite where you plan to inject. You can hold it with two fingers with your hand positioned against the scrotum. You can also extend the penis against your thigh for greater stability. Keep pulling on your penis from the time the needle goes into the shaft until it comes out. Do not twist or rotate your penis to avoid accidentally injecting the top or bottom surfaces. Quickly slide the needle into the shaft of your penis. Move your thumb to the plunger 
and push down to inject the medication. Be sure to keep the needle in place. After injecting all the medication, quickly pull the needle straight out. With an alcohol pad, apply pressure on the injection site for two to three minutes. If you take a blood thinner, apply pressure for five minutes to decrease bleeding or bruising. Drop the syringe into your sharps container. You don't need to recap it. For five to 10 minutes after the injection, you may sit, stand, walk around, or start foreplay to keep blood flowing downward. Don't lie on your back. The medication typically takes 10 minutes for benefit to occur. The goal is to get an erection hard enough for penetrative sex lasting no longer than one hour. You can inject the medication up to three times a week, but no more than once in 24 hours. Keep a journal to help your providers adjust to the dosage as needed. Entries should include dose injected, hardness and duration of erection, and any symptoms associated with the current dose, such as burning, pain, or bruising. Be aware of these warnings related to penile injections. 24 hours before or after the penile injection therapy, do not take any of these medications. Sildenafil, known as brand name Viagra, Vardenafil, known as Levitra, Avonafil, known as Stendra, or Tadalafil, known as Cialis. If the medication doesn't work, don't give yourself another injection for at least 24 hours. Do not go to sleep until your erection is bendable. If your erections are lasting longer than one hour, consider reducing your dose by two to five units. If you experience an erection that is hard and not bendable, lasting longer than two hours, take two 30 milligram tablets of an over-the-counter Sudafedrin HCL, also known as Sudafed immediate release. Don't take extended release or long-acting tablets such as Sudafed 12 hour. If your erection remains hard and not bendable after another 30 minutes, take two more 30 milligram tablets. And if your erection remains rigid for more than three total hours, go immediately to the nearest emergency department. Erections remaining hard for more than four hours may result in permanent and irreversible damage to the penis and worsened erectile dysfunction. And if you're currently receiving chemotherapy for cancer, ask your oncologist when you can safely use penile injections. If the medication is not giving you a rigid enough erection for penetrative sex, first, be sure that you're using the correct technique to inject the medication. If you are, then try increasing your dose by five units more the next time. For example, if you started with 10 units, wait at least 24 hours, then try 15 units. Continue to increase the dose by five units each attempt until you achieve desired firmness. Do not exceed 50 units. Your medication concentration can also be adjusted if you are not getting good response. Injection therapy is not for everyone. Some men may be unsatisfied with this treatment due to pain or ineffectiveness, or they might not like needles. Several other options exist, including the penile implant procedure, which is an alternative to injection therapy and is covered by most insurance plans. If you are not satisfied with your injection treatment and want to discuss other options, or if you're not yet started on a treatment for ED and you want to learn more, make an appointment with our Cleveland Clinic Men's Health Team. We're here to help.